Today we're going to talk about the harmonic series, the overtone series. This is a series of simple ratios. Oh, sorry, I'm late. Drive... Sorry, I'm late. You're right. Okay. Uh, sorry. Uh, hey. Um, um, sorry. Uh, uh, what? Uh, we're doing uh, what? Uh, overtones. Series, overtones. Right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, gonna... Found this pipe outside. Um, uh, anyhow. Great, where did you get great that? idea. You know, like how air is displaced, and that kind of forms a certain pitch in a pipe. Right. And yeah. uh, we could use this as like a sort of a demonstration oh, oh, for, right. you know, like isn't that oh, neat? Because no, no matter what the shape is, exactly uh, right, going to create a certain pitch. All we have to do is excite yeah. the air. You hear the pitch there? Yeah. yeah. Try that in. Oh, we're here in the middle. That's not you. I'm, I'm doing the same volume. You're not going, oh, It's just a matter of whether you're hitting the resonate thing. Weird. That's maybe, cool. Maybe it'd be better if we did this with PVC or something. Yeah, I mean, this is this is just what I found outside as I was thinking okay. of, yeah. you know, length of pipe. But, okay, uh, well, it's a good start. We're going to look at several different things from uh, s strings to air columns to solid bodies and note that all of them adhere to the overtone series. This is going to be amazing. So let's go to the workshop. Let's ride. Music theory for worship. You can trust those theory guys who only digress from time to time. Music theory for Let's begin with rope tricks. Are we ready? If Daniel is just looping this rope, it can go in sort of random patterns. And then he finds the speed. It's not so much how hard he turns it as that he finds the standing wave. And there's nothing so powerful as a standing wave. This is the speed for the rope. Boom, 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 boom. Now, he's going to go twice as fast, and guess what's going to happen? It takes a second for it to establish, and then it gets a standing wave. Take a look at the shadow on the floor, you see? Now what we're going to find here is, when he goes at this speed and finds it, there's a node that forms in the middle of the rope. It is exactly the halfway point on the rope because that's the only place that a node could form. And on the two sides, there is a wave that's exactly half of what the other one was. It's a now, easier to see the node on. Bump, 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 bump. Now he's gonna go three against two. Da, 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 da. And it takes a little while to find exactly the standing wave. And now look again at the wave on the ground, at the shadow. There, do you see it? Do you see two nodes form? And there are three waves forming. Each of which is the same side. And you can see that better in the shadow. There is a spot that stays still while the rest of it moves around it. Amazing. The truth is every vibrating string is doing the same thing that we just saw that jump rope do a minute ago. When when I pluck this string, it looks like the whole string is moving back and forth. And certainly it is. And it's going to create a certain standing wave that's, uh, that's going to vibrate. But in truth, while the whole thing is vibrating back and forth, it is also vibrating in halves. There is a node right down the middle, and each half is going on its own. If you get a large enough string, um, you'd be able to see that, the, the wobble within the string itself. And if we slowed this down to super slow motion, you would see the string wobble like this. It also, while it's doing that, is going in thirds, and going in fourths, and going in fifths. All of these simple ratios are happening on every string. This isn't a musical principle, it's a principle of physics. But if musicians can understand this, then we begin to understand this phenomenon that we call the harmonic series, or the overtone series. Because every vibrating thing vibrates in simple ratios to itself. 
What we're seeing here is what we call the fundamental, and those other things are harmonics of that fundamental. Let's demonstrate it with something other than strings. Here in the workshop, I think we can find some, some other things that are a little easier to work with than the tailpipe. If we excite that air, whether by tapping on one end or by blowing on it, it will create, bum, bum, bum. I think that's the thing. Can you hear that? That's, it's not the, the plastic here. That doesn't make much sound at all. It is the sound of the air inside. Being agitated and mm -hmm. escaping. This pipe is longer by quite a bit, and it's also bigger in diameter. So I'm just guessing it's going to have a lower pitch, and we'll probably be able to hear that quite well. With the old rapid tap tap. That is amazing. And so when I speak at the, at the resonance of the tube itself, then what you find is I'm reinforcing that pitch. If I go to a different pitch, it does not reinforce it quite so much. In fact, what you hear is really high overtones. We'll have to talk about those combinatorial overtones later. Oh, I feel so powerful. Listen to my voice. It's just being resonant. Oh, I feel like a man. Okay, anyway. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so if we were to take this whole pipe and make it shorter, what do you think would happen to the pitch? It would, would go... I think it would... Up, maybe. Go up. When you hear a fundamental sound, that's like the whole rope vibrating. An octave above that is half the rope. When you, when you make it half as long, it goes up an octave. So let's create an entire instrument without experimenting to find out if we have the right pitch. We're just going to go by measurements and we're going to create a fifth by having a three to two ratio. And we're going to create a second by having a nine to eight ratio and so forth and so on. I guess what we've demonstrated is in several different ways we've seen that the harmonic series drives everything about music theory. Funny that you should use that word drives. Right. Yeah, where did you get this thing by the way? I just uh, found it. Um, I know you enough to know that when you say you found it, you found it with a hacksaw. Well, uh... Let's just say you'll be in with the teens. Let's just say I gave you the cheap fix. Let's just say the ambulance won't be drowning you out. You're gonna not just turn a few heads, but a few ears as well. Oh.